Hey guys, got a nice blank table here because we've got a special treat for you today. We're going to start building ourselves an Atom, or Astro Boy as he's known outside Japan. This is one of those usual things you see where you, you buy a magazine subscription and they give you a part and each week or each month or whatever, you add one part to the uh, final uh, thing that you're making, be it a, a robot or a uh, model car or model boat or whatever. Um, usually I don't bother with these things because it's just uh, takes too long and it ends up being a bit, bit, little bit expensive at the end but it's a robot atom and it, you can talk to it and it talks back to you and it moves around a bit and it's, it's actually really really cool. So uh, I've got a subscription so they send me two at once so instead of getting it every fortnight or whatever I get it once a month but two so it saves on shipping and whatnot. Um, so we'll have a look at what's inside these things and um, then I'll uh, I'll pull the parts out and we'll put it together and uh, what, this will be an ongoing thing until it's finished so every couple of weeks or whatever whenever I get the parts um, we'll do a, an episode and um, put the thing together and in the end we'll have it working so this is the uh, episode or well, issue one Atom everyone's seen this it's the uh, Japan's response to uh, Mickey Mouse got the spiky hair instead of the round ears but it's got looks like a uh, some sort of tear out thingy here. Looks like it uses a Raspberry Pi. Look at that. Raspberry Pi 3. That's pretty sweet. Oh so hackable. Headboard, camera board. So it's got a, um, a camera in there so it can do image recognition. And that's what all the parts are going to be when it's done. Looks like there's an LC touch panel in his, uh, in his chest. That's pretty cool. Some servo motors down here and uh, the main board which sits inside in his waist area there like in his hips or something and there's uh, looks like there's servos all around it so it's all in the legs all in the arms so it's gonna be pretty cool I was wondering how they're gonna control it and it, yeah Raspberry Pi so what do we got in the back oh yeah that's a more of a completed sort of picture I'll slowly scroll that up so you can see it all there. Atom. So this is going to be rather fun and rather frustrating to wait for all the parts. Now it comes with a magazine. It's showing you a few pictures. You can see it. You know, he's standing next to the woman cooking, and it does games and stuff. So you can talk to it, and it'll play quizzes and all that sort of thing. You can see here where it moves around. Well, that's what it's going to look like when it's finished. So I don't read Japanese, but we'll bumble our way through and see how we go. And maybe we'll have a, uh, an English language option, or maybe I'll just have to learn some more Japanese to use it. But being Raspberry Pi 3, I'm sure the brains are in the Raspberry Pi and the, uh, the main board is just the motor control and that sort of thing. Um, and if so, I'm sure I can find language files and, uh, and do things to um, make it more more user friendly for non Japanese speakers like myself. But yeah, so there's just a whole heap of. Oh, yeah, that looks like this is the uh, instructions for what we've got here because in the box, it looks like we've got a DVD inside in the back there. We've got it, the face. You can sort of get an idea of the scale. The head's going to be about like the size of, a, of an orange. So it's going to stand maybe. 30 centimeters tall about a foot tall or something maybe and it's like there's a little a little box a little case maybe just a parts box or something so let's tear this thing open well I'll carefully cut it open because I don't want to ruin anything and we'll take these parts out put that out of the way Alrighty, my first atom. Looks like I might have some uh, some old episodes. That's pretty cool. Right. We got a uh, face, 
a face plate. And what this is? Oh, and there's some stickers. I think that's for the uh, not his eyebrows, but under the eyes, like little little shot kind of shadow lines or something, possibly. And this. Oh, it's a parts case. Cool, double sided. One larger container and some small ones just for screws and stuff. That's that's pretty neat. Add some in his girlfriend. Okay. So I'll get this book. Yeah, you can see here. So you got the stickers and you put the stickers onto the uh, just under his eyes there. So what we gotta do so it looks like we gotta peel off just two of these the little stickers and stick them right under the under of his eye like like his eyes are closed you can see in the picture here just here so it's like his eyelids are closed so I guess this is the preliminary thing before he wakes up and you turn him on or something so let's go ahead and stick one of these on Okay, step one, <laughs> finished. All right, well, that's not the end of the video because we've got number two. So I'll move out that out of the way and we'll have a look at this one. So in this issue, we get some body parts. So I think it's a stand that if I open up, where are we? There's a whole heap of stuff. We'll flick through this in a sec. Where's the instructions? Here we go. Yeah, it looks like we can put the... Uh, we're making this. Just like I showed you before. We get a few parts and we make like a little... like a bust. And then there's... Um, oh, it's to, to make the head move up and down. I guess that's what's coming next. So it's a little control board and the head nods up and down when you flick a switch. So I guess I give you the bus so you can kind of work on it on a little stand. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do that. And then we'll flick through the, uh, the magazine. It looks like they give you some gloves maybe, but I don't know if they're going to fit my hands. Yeah, there's some gloves in there. So there's our gloves. They say we should use them. They're maybe, maybe anti-static. Let's see if they fit. <laughs> Oh, just wow! Thumbs a bit, thumbs a bit short. Eh, whatever. We'll go for the full experience. Okay, we got a screwdriver. We got some arms. Ah. Ah. I can't even grip anything with these things on. Yeah. Okay, so we got a body part and then some arms. So it looks like they go in there. And then there's the instructions say that this goes here and then this one goes on top, like is. That's his heart that makes him more human than robot. Like that. I'll stick that one like that. And then I guess the next one we get more of this assembly. So that's basically where we're at now. Da 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 da! 
Alright, so have a look through that magazine. Now that we've finished what construction we can do for today. So this is the Volume 2 magazine. Hold your people that look like they were in the production of this, this thing. There's a mastermind there. A lot of the history of Astro Boy or Atom. Yeah, there you go, Astro Boy. In Japan, it was called Atom. Robot Town Sagami. Actually, in uh, in Tokyo, the actual place where the Astro Boy kind of takes place, the headquarters where he was built, it, it's an actual place in Japan. It really does exist. You can go there. There's a, a station, and it's just like a normal district of Tokyo. But when you're at the station, when the train's about to leave, they play the Astro Boy theme like on the PA system as a chime to let you know that you better hurry up because the train's leaving. So... That's kind of a little bit cool. Looks like we got a, a centerfold with all the characters, bad guys and stuff. Astro Boy toys. Yep. Yeah, so that's where we we're at now. Just there. And it's just all more markety sort of stuff. Next issue looks like we're going to get the back plate and the uh, the stand and you know, finish off the actual enclosure where he's like the bust enclosure. Alrighty. That's all we got for this episode. So stick around and uh, every couple weeks I'll have a new step in the process and we'll see you then